two is pretty good. Uh, Jing is a little different than all the others. Uh, it's extremely lightweighted. Oops. Is a uh, extremely lightweighted. Is made by a company which is called TechSmith. Um, their website is jingproject.com. Um, so you can basically with Jing uh, capture pictures, obviously record video on of on-screen action, and share instantly over the web. Uh, you can upload them directly to YouTube, but this is only in the pro version. The pro version costs uh, forty-nine, uh, no, fourteen ninety-five dollars a year. So you have to buy it every year if you want to keep using the pro version. Uh, the features in the pro version are pretty nice, but again, the links is in the description. So when you start up Jing, you've got basically a little sun in the corner, um, the top right corner, and when you uh, get uh, on with your mouse on the corner you can basically choose capture uh, history and more we're gonna go on more uh, more you've got the preferences here I'm gonna show you the preferences a uh, capture hotkey your account information uh, share option uh, startup option launch and startup or use menu bar instead of the Sun which is basically you got a Sun here and if you check that up um, you got it in your menu bar well, and then you can choose the video format. The problem is for the free version, you can only do SWF, and I don't got the pro version because um, I'm not intending to buy this one because I already got a lot of screen recording apps and the pro version of it. Um, so, when you got the pro version, you also got the H264, um, H.264 format, and the MP4, which is uh, only for the pro version again. So here you can also choose send feedback or help and quit the application. So when you go on capture, uh, oops, yeah, you can basically choose the area. And here you can choose a capture an image, capture video, rate, redo selection, or cancel. Uh, once you capture, there's a countdown of three seconds. Um, you can choose if your microphone is muted or not. Uh, you can pause it if you want to go to the toilet or just pick up the phone and stop it obviously once you stopped it it will automatically get you to this um, media player which uh, is basically uh, basically the custom media player for Jing uh, once here on the bottom left corner you get you can go directly to screencast.com save it to your hard drive the video obviously and cancel the whole thing so you can save it and Yep, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, Jing, I like it because it's so extremely simple. I mean, you don't need any skills or something. It's really, really simple to use. So if you're a starter, you can always check out uh, Jing. There's a free trial. So uh, go ahead, links in the description. So for number two, we've got Screenium. Um, I'm probably making part two already, but I'm not sure uh, because I know it's pretty long. Um, so it's basically checking for updates. Um, Screenium is by a company which is called I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Signium or Senium Software. I don't know. They got a few project. Uh, sorry, <laughs> they've got a few products. Uh, but we're gonna talk especially about Screenium. So Screenium, there's a free version. Uh, it's totally free. There are not much features difference there's a few feature difference but you can always check that out uh, screenium is twenty nine dollars um, so yep so here you've got your screenium there are a few so you can start recording with a fixed area basically you choose uh, which area you want a uh, full screen mouse area or single win window so mouse area basically it follows your mouse. It's pretty simple. Uh, here you can choose audio video options, all the quality uh, camera, which is your built-in eyesight or your webcam. Uh, Screenium is a bit slow. I don't know why, but it's only on Screenium. Uh, so now it says I don't got any camera because I'm already using it right now. You see this 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 thing? Yeah. Oops. Well, yeah. Uh, you can use a camera uh, option for the mouse. You can all check that out. I mean, you can always pause the video and check the, the options. The timer and the library. So that is Screenium. Uh, Screenium has all the options of quality like the other ones. So when I export one, I can choose everything here, the settings, uh, which compressing mode. For example, I'm going to use this one, best quality. 
the size I want to an HD so you can choose all that uh, screenium it's like I showed you um, so that is screenium and the top one is obviously the one I'm using uh, it is called screen flow and I guess a lot of you already know about it because a lot of people are using it uh, the only minus point about screen flow is that it is a little pricey it is ninety nine dollars it is brought to you by a company which is called Telestream um, so I will show you very quickly right now uh, because I've got one thing open here which is the video I'm making right now uh, the top five and screen flow has basically a whole editor built with it that's why screen flow is a little pricey and that's why it is as well so good uh, this editor so basically once you finish recording you can basically edit your video and it's really simple to use I will not get into all the details you can go check out of uh, one of my other videos which is uh, the basics of screen flow um, so you can always go check that out so basically there are a lot of options I mean you can basically choose everything move everything make action uh, make huge amount of effects um, you can make custom effects uh, so extremely easy for example add a video effect I want to uh, make it move from here to here and then you've got your move you know so oops yeah so here for example I want to make it move from here to here and you've got your uh, effect Zoop. Okay, so there are a huge amount of effects. I mean, it's really easy to make, and uh, there are way more. I mean, this was really simple. You can choose all the rotations, the scale, reflection if you want to add some reflection, which I often do, and I remove the shadow. But you can obviously also change the angle of the shadow. Uh, these are the audio properties you can even add to uh, an effect to your voice, um, which is pretty cool. Screen recording properties. Uh, which is basically a uh, show point uh, mouse pointer which is your cursor uh, if you want to um, um, zoom on your pointer which is pretty cool then your pointer gets really big um, you can even make it bigger than 500 percent I think you can even make it a thousand I mean oh no you can actually I thought it was possible but obviously it's not so click effect is basically one moment you click you get this little effect uh, the opacity, the pointer, you can even make a big circle around it to be sure that you're looking uh, correctly. Uh, keyboard, you can show the keys pressed, which basically the, uh, the what you're typing and the modifier keys, which are basically commands, uh, option, shifts, um, all those stuff, enter, backspace. Uh, call out action, which is basically it zooms on your pointer for a while and you can choose how many, how big you want to zoom up or I mean, there are so many options. I cannot show you them to uh, all. I cannot show all the options to you right now. Uh, add a text box, which is basically add some text, like an annotation. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, I show you also has this. Also has a, a text box. It's not called text box though. It's called. I don't actually know how it's called, but it also has this feature. So um, it's pretty cool. And here you can add some media if you want to add music, uh, cool movies, or all that stuff intro videos so that is ScreenFlow which is basically my screen recording app uh, I know it's a bit pricey guys but it's really worth it um, I mean obviously it's not worth it when you're making one video a year but I mean if you're using a lot of screen recording applications uh, screen if you're making a lot of screen recordings uh, it, it is really useful so um, uh, that is ScreenFlow this is the top five Mac screen recording applications I hope you liked it I know it's a bit long but thanks for watching uh, subscribe comment below definitely if you watch the whole thing please comment uh, rate five stars and you can add me on Twitter uh, become a fan of me on Facebook add me on Skype all that stuff is all in the description so you can all go check that out so really thanks for watching peace